Today on Book Talking, The Upside of Unrequited. So this is part of the Simon series. If you read um, Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda, uh, it's about a girl named Molly. Molly is the cousin of one of the characters from Simon. Her name is Abby, so she's Abby's cousin. So that's how they're connected, and so Simon makes some cameos in it. Um, but Molly has had like lots of crushes over the years, um, but as the title would suggest, they've been unrequited. She's never like had a relationship, um, and she's 17 at the time of the book. And this is like a major theme, obviously, in the book um, of her like not sure if she should like put herself out there, feeling like unlovable, feeling like it's just never going to happen for her, like um, love and happiness and all these things finds other people, but like it's not that's not going to be her life, her situation. She has a twin sister named Cassie, and Cassie's kind of like the opposite of Molly. She's really like outgoing. She takes a lot of risks. She doesn't like seem to care if she gets hurt, any of those things. Like she dates a lot. Um, and so Molly has a hard time not comparing herself. Um, Molly also describes herself as like overweight or like, um, too much or those kinds of things where like she doesn't really um, like how she looks and feels like other people won't either uh, and versus Cassie she describes as like being thin and attractive and all of these things so all of those things kind of work together to the point where Molly decides that like she's just done with not putting herself out there like she's going to take a risk and she's going to like try to um, be rejected to like get over it um, which leads to a series of interesting, sometimes comical, sometimes sad, all around emotional events. Um, I really liked the characters in this book. I enjoyed that Albert Holly, the author, um, has a lot of diverse characters. Um, her sister, her twin sister Cassie, um, is bisexual. Her um, parents are uh, a lesbian couple, so um, she has two moms. Um, they talk about like everything from infertility to like careers, um, like just all kinds of different life experiences. Um, they talk about Molly having a crush on a trans transgender person. They talk about people um, being agender, like all of these different things. Um, Molly deals with mental health issues, including like a panic disorder. So they like um, normalize and talk about uh, medication and taking your medication, what that means to have a mental illness and those kinds of things. So I really liked how the book kind of normalizes those diverse experiences and just has a lot of diverse characters um, and not in a way where like that's the only thing about them, right? Like the only thing about uh, Molly is not that she has an anxiety, a panic disorder. Um, there's a lot about her and a lot more than she even realizes about herself. She really um, doesn't give herself enough credit, doesn't realize like how great she is. So like there's some self-discovery aspect of that. Um, I also really liked some of the other characters in the book, which I won't talk about because I don't want to ruin anything. Um, but I really liked them. And I just like the way that it unfolded. You would like it if you like kind of like a cheesy feel-good romance, if you like a lighthearted read, um, if you like stories about identity, if you like realistic fiction, if you like any of those things, you might really like the upside of unrequited. Hope you pick it up soon.